So how can you get customers to love you even more than they do right now? Well, it begins by doing what is not expected and getting yourself prepared and organized to meet your customers' strongest needs. If you want customers to love you, love them first, then they won't be able to do anything other than love you back. This is the tactic used by Bob Rorman to sell over 19,000 vehicles in a single year. Check this out. In 2011, Rorman sold 19,635 new retail units, and group revenue came in at more than $905 million. He said, Bob, he said, uh, you think uh, maybe you can sell cars? I said, yes, sir, I can. Uh, when do you want to start? I said, right now? He said, okay, you're hired. And he was off and running. Grandson Ryan is the GM at Schaumburg Honda. He takes credit to this day for teaching me how to sell cars. And I was like, Grandpa, we, you know, what do you mean by that? And he's like, remember what I told you the very first day when you went to sell? I said, I do. And he, I, this is what he told me. He said, you got to love the customers and they'll love you back. All right, what do we mean when we say love the customer? Well, first of all, it may not be what you expect. We're not talking about a feeling. You're not going to feel like loving someone you just met, even before you know anything about them. I'm talking about a decision, an act of the will. One definition of love says that love is patient, it's kind, and it's long-suffering, to name a few. Well, whoever feels like being patient? I know that I never do. The type of love we're referring to that can only help you become a better salesperson and increase your income is not a feeling. It's a decision to act in a manner you may not feel like acting despite the circumstances. In fact, a good rule of thumb is to do the opposite of what you want to do and the opposite of what you feel like doing. Are you prepared to respond kindly with a smile and with love in your eyes and empathy in your voice and tenderness in your mannerisms to the next person who comes up and is rude to you and treats you with little to no respect? Well, I know that if I react to someone's rudeness, it won't help me win them over as a friend. But if I decide before it happens how I will act, and then I act versus react, then and only then do I have a chance to make that sale and become their friend. In fact, that decision to respond kindly to rudeness is so unexpected by rude people that they are often the easiest people to win over. And it may be because no one else wants to deal with them, much less be their friend. So if you're not in that place mentally, stop and consider the benefits for going there. Why not make it your business objective to be a friend to everyone who needs one? And who needs more friends? Well, everyone, of course. That gives you a lot of prospects to sell your new service to. Og Mandino wrote a book every salesperson should read, no matter what they sell. The book is called The Greatest Salesperson or Salesman in the World. In that book, Mr. Mandino offers 12 insights to success in selling and in life. One of those insights he called the greatest secret in the world. Well, what is the greatest secret in the world according to Og Mandino? It's this. Greet this day and everyone you meet with love in your heart. Now, we're going to talk about his suggestions to practically incorporate this secret into your business in more detail during the meet and greet step of the sales process training later in this first course. Here's another example of what this kind of love looks like and why people respond to it. A mother will stay up all night caring for a sick child because of love, not because she feels like it, not because that was the top of her list of things she wanted to do that day or that night, but because she made the decision even before that child was ever sick that she would do anything and everything to help and care for that child. Now this is where we're heading in regard to a business attitude that can dramatically increase your income by changing the way you look at your customers and changing your opinion of what you should be doing at work each day to earn a living. 
This change in thought and attitude will also change the way you speak when you're with your peers and your managers. If you want to be promoted and you want others to promote you and your cause, then you don't want to spend another second complaining to anybody about the pay plan, the schedule, the dealership, the managers, other salespeople, the customers, the manufacturer, or anything else. Misery loves company, they say, but trust me, that's not the company you want to keep or be providing to anyone else. This is also a choice. So here's a little suggestion. If you disagree or have a concern with anything, go to the person that can change your pay plan, like a manager or the owner, that can change your schedule or your circumstance if that person exists, and present to them the benefits that they will experience if they agree with your way of thinking and ask them for some consideration. Now if you get it, congratulations, you made a sale. If not, then you simply need to decide if it is still in your best interest to stay or are you better off moving on elsewhere. Compare the pros and the cons of both decisions. Consider your options and then make a decision, but spend no more time bringing down the people around you who are also trying to make a living and they need their mind to be in a good place if they want to make a living in sales and spend no time being a sounding board for their negative thoughts. You don't have time or room for that. Instead, fill your mind with positive thoughts, ideas to increase and grow your business, and think of all the different ways you can love your customers and show compassion and help to people that need it. I've heard that a definition of insanity is doing the same thing and expecting different results. Well, let's face it, unless something dramatically changes, your income won't dramatically increase. Consider dramatically changing the way you look at other people and what you have to offer to them. Then look at your product, those cars you're representing, as a tool to bring customers to you, not the product itself. That perspective can help you begin to develop dramatically stronger relationships with customers as you make a commitment to love them even before they're ready to love you back. Loving the customer the way Og Mandino suggested in his book, The Greatest Salesman in the World, is also not a script. The suggested scripts we are going to provide to you in this course won't work if they're not you and who you're willing to become. This type of selling is not just a process or a combination of ways to cleverly overcome common objections. This type of selling in this training course is a way of approaching people, life, and business that transcends product knowledge and goes above the steps to a sale or anyone's ability to overcome objections. Nothing will increase your income more. Nothing will increase your income faster and nothing will cause you and your causes to be promoted by more people than learning to develop this skill of relationship selling, which starts with loving your customers. And you're never going to master it. I warn you right now, you'll never arrive. It's something you will continue to keep working at and continue to look for more ways to develop far beyond this course in order to keep getting better at it. And the more you do, the more you will love your life, your career in sales, and the people around you. One of the greatest sports agents in history, Dickie Fox, put it like this. Said, the key to this business is personal relationships. Roll with the punches. Tomorrow's another day. Unless you love everybody, you can't sell anybody. I love getting up in the morning. I clap my hands and say, this is going to be a great day. If this is empty, this doesn't matter. Hey, I don't have all the answers. In life, to be honest, I've failed as much as I've succeeded. But I love my wife. I love my life. And I wish you my kind of success.